Uh, folks, my first guest tonight is the star of the hit Fox show, Malcolm in the Middle. Please welcome Frankie Munez. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Awesome to be here. You yeah. know, I gotta say, it's a little shocking. Uh, I think you were, last time you were here was, I don't know how long ago, nine months ago, maybe a year. You've grown like a foot in yeah, that time. I, I really have, actually, though. That's the funny thing. And also, my voice has gotten a lot deeper. And one of the craziest... <laughs> Thank you. Hey, you sound like Barry White now. I know, I know. <laughs> the, but the craziest thing is... What? That, like, if I don't shave for a week, I get like a full, full goatee. Wait, you, you get a beard if you don't shave for a week? Yeah, I mean, it's a, something that I bet you'll never have. But it's okay. But, um, you, know, you know, the sad thing is, it's true. But it's all No, right. I get hairs that come out right here. I could grow ropes. I could grow braids right here. That'd be really nice, Like actually. Pippi Longstocking coming out of my cheeks. <laughs> Um, but so anyway, is it, is it weird? I mean, I went through a crazy, I, I grew like three feet in one year and, and it was a, it was a freak show. Seriously. <laughs> well, uh, you're, it, this is a more moderate pace, but still that's gotta be weird. It, it is weird because like, well, it's weird being on the TV show, you know, cause you can really see as I've changed, you know, looking back to episodes that we filmed three months ago. Right. I, I feel like I look different. It might just be me, but that's right. how I feel. And, right. But it, it's always fun that I am on the TV show and I do get to watch that. You know, I go back to the first season where we filmed like two and a half years ago and I'm like this big and my voice is really high and then you switch back ahead and it's, it's, it's so, so it's weird. weird. You can, you're seeing yourself literally grow up on television. But the weird thing is, is because it's, it's happening, you know, slowly, like people watch it every week, they don't just see like the big change. It's not right. like if I did a movie, you know, two and a half years ago, they did one now and they'd be like, wow, he's grown so much. He was you know, like they, irradiated. Yeah. He's like, you know, the Hulk. <laughs> he's changing rapidly before our eyes. Now, uh, you did something that I think a lot of people would like to do, which is you played basketball recently with Britney Spears. Is that yes, right? Yes, I did. All right, now, what happened? Well, you Tell know, us all about it. I, I, was, I, I knew I was going to be playing with her. I didn't know she was actually guarding me. And she was guarding me tight. It was, it was really nice. Um, I forgot what I was doing for some time uh, until she reminded me. But uh, it was... It was a lot of fun. So what, this was for a celebrity event? Yeah, it was like NSYNC celebrity you know, game that they have every year. Uh, and, uh, is in sync on one side, like Backstreet Boys on the other side, or do they <laughs> split up in sync? They, they split up in sync, and uh, Brittany was on Justin's team, and I was on like JC's team, and just, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. I don't know who that is, but anyway, uh, <laughs> you lost me there for a second. Who's the big heavy one in in, in sync? There's Joey. Guy, yeah, Joey. Right. Yes. No, I'm sorry, but the guy's 45 years old. I happen to know, and he served this country. He fought valiantly in the Vietnam War, and I think we owe him our thanks. Now, so, and is she good? Can she play basketball? She actually really is. I mean, I, I heard she played on, like, her high school team, but when we were warming up, you know, went out, and she was shooting around, and she has really good form, and she was making shots, which, you know, you don't, didn't expect. It's Britney Spears, you know? You thought that but, she's uh, just, a, did she use any of her dance moves yeah. when she's out on the court? Well, see, that's, that's one thing, you know, she, when she was doing that, it was so hard to, you know, pay attention to the game, but, right. you know, she actually was really good. Right. If I were you, I'd just like to say, you got me. <laughs> uh, you're driving now. You turned 16, 16, so you are now eligible to drive. In California. In I'm California, a, you can I'm drive. I have my license. I have my driver's license. And, uh, and you bought a car, but you didn't buy just any car. Tell us about the car you bought. Well, I wanted something different. Right. So I bought the Jetta that was in the Fast and the Furious, the actual movie car that they used. And um, there's only you, we one. We actually have a photo of this car. Let's take a look at it here. Okay, look at that. This is, this is the car you're driving around in. Yes. And I gotta think, <laughs> that's like driving a parade float. <laughs> I mean, people are gonna be like, whoa, hey, it's Frank Muniz. Well, see, He's in the Fast and the Furious car. <laughs> well, they notice the car, and then right. they look, and sometimes they notice me, which is sort of fun. But that's why I drive the car, you know, just for well, fun. What can this car, I've heard, is loaded with everything. Tell me what this car has. It's got PlayStation 2 in it, DVD, VCR. Good things to be doing system. while you're driving, by the way. Hey, in California, <laughs> there's a lot of traffic. Look out! <laughs> there's a lot of traffic, so you know. Oh, so okay. when you're stopped, you do it. Let's, uh... Well, the passenger, the passenger. The passenger. And, and uh, what about the, the performance of this car? Is it, what kind of engine? It doesn't have just like a four-cylinder yeah, it's, it's engine all, in it, does it? Like, I didn't do the work to it, you know, but it's all souped up. It's got nitrous and, um, 
all this crazy It's got stuff. the nitrous tank? Yeah. The thing that when you switch it on, all the stars outside turn into straight lines? Uh, and you're like, force back. <laughs> Almost. It's like, uh, I don't, you know, exactly know the purpose of it, because I never use it, because my mom actually made me get it disconnected. But it's still in there. <laughs> it's still there. But, um... Mom! <laughs> no, but... What happened to my afterburner? <laughs> Finish your Brussels sprouts, well, and like, then we'll talk. It's when you get to like a certain speed, and you, know, you push this button, and it's just like it's like a turbo boost, and you get up like 50 miles an hour faster in like a second, and then it only lasts for like seven seconds. And then where can you use that though? Well, you, like you can't do that. Like oh, the post, the you know my post office box is over there, but I want to get there faster. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Well, like you'd use it for like when you race. You know, like uh, right. And uh, you know you'll be racing, and at the last second you'll try to get ahead, but. Uh, and this, I just want to this car has a video camera installed That's in it. That's one thing. It's got a roll cage and it has like a video camera mount. And this video camera just sits right there. And, and what is that things. for? Uh, you know, I, I've never really used it, but it's cool, coo cool to think that, you know, if I want to like take me going like 160 or like really fast to show all my friends, that'd be cool. <laughs> that because could also be I'm evidence, thinking, I would thinking think. thinking of getting into directing. <laughs> thinking of getting into directing. That's going to be the problem is I wasn't speeding. Let's check the videotape, buddy. <laughs> I keep the lens cap on. Just um, you know what's funny is uh, I see you all the time on HBO. They, they keep showing, it's the first movie I guess you ever did, My Dog Skip, and they show it all the time now. And it's funny because I guess this is where you got discovered, but is it weird for you to see that? You were talking earlier about you're just a kid when you do that movie. Is it strange for you to see that on TV now? It is strange, but the strangest thing would definitely have to be switching to like the HBO in Spanish. Mm -hmm. And watching it because like they have like this girl as my voice like in this really high pitch skipper skipper don't be a star skipper and it's like oh, oh. And they can't they get a guy you know yeah. my age with that it would be really voice. great if you could call them up and say can you get a guy with like a really deep Spanish voice like <laughs> donde esta skipper yo soy Frankie Muniz Malcolm en el centro you know yeah that's uh, always weird to see. Now, where do, where do they shoot your show? They shoot your show... We film it at the, the CBS Radford lot, which is actually a really small lot. Are there other cool shows that, that shoot there? Like, you get to see anybody? A lot. Uh, Spin City Films there now. Will and Grace, Just Shoot Me, that, eight, that 70 show. Mm -hmm. Grand for Life, Bernie Mac. Um, we have a lot of, like, big shows on the lot, although it's right. not, like, the biggest lot. Like you said, it's not, like... Do you have, Fox like, lot. do you get to see any, like, neat star encounters that you've had with anybody on the lot? When Spin City first came, you know, to L.A. to start filming there, Charlie Sheen had this huge bus that he was using as like his dressing room slash trailer type deal, like this three million dollar bus. This huge. I bet thing. it had a few other things in there too. <laughs> <laughs> it's just my guess. But, yeah. but um, and he came out one day, and I was outside. I was actually like playing basketball or something, and I started talking to him, and I was like, "That's really nice." And he brought me inside and showed it around, and that was really the only time I've really. I mean, I've seen other celebrities, but that's the first time I've really actually talked to him. But also, a celebrity that has his own tricked out bus that's got to be really neat i never thought about that well it was it is a first you know yeah. only did you say did, did you say i bet my you know fast and the furious car could beat your bus <laughs> well i would I pay wanna... to see that you <laughs> frankie Muniz versus charlie sheen in a bus i didn't want to you know be uh you know brag about my car he, maybe he has a nitrous tank in his bus and it can like go into hyper i'm sure it had everything else in it so. <laughs> We won't talk about that, though. Yes. Uh, so, um, well, this is the season finale of Malcolm in the Middle airs this Sunday night at 8.30 on Fox. You still having a good time doing that show? Definitely. I mean, it's sort of weird because we've been doing it. We're about to start our fourth year. Right. You know, but I feel like I just started. And now it's also weird that I've done 66 episodes of the show, and I can't remember one of them because they all just run together, and you don't remember what storyline goes with what. And, you know, when you have to remind, like, when people ask you about a show, it's like, I don't remember doing that, you know, and, uh, but it, it's always cool. People say to me, I, you know, like, yeah, last night you took off your clothes and jumped in a tank and <laughs> fought a shark, and I'm like, no, I did, and then I checked the tape and I did, yeah. you know? <laughs> that's, always, that's always a little crazy, but, uh... Yeah, but then I have a lot of problems up here. Uh, Frankie, uh, thanks a lot for coming by. Thank and continued you very much. success. Thank yeah. You. Frankie Muniz, everybody. John C. McGinley from Scrubs coming up. We'll be right back.